Hey everybody, welcome back. And today, we're going to actually start building our application. And we're going to build out the UI using a technology called XAML. So, what is XAML? XAML stands for Extensible Application Markup Language. And what it lets you do, it lets you declaratively define your user interface. So, it's a lot like XML, but it gives you a whole lot more. And what is that whole lot more that it gives you? Well, it's great for MVVM. So, we'll be talking about MVVM in the future, but what it does is that it gives you the ability to do bindings and commands with your controls in your user interface. It also gives you a great visual representation of your user interface. So, with a quick look at your XAML, you can tell which controls are nested underneath which controls and which controls have bindings to which other properties. It's a really great way to see how your UI is built up. And it is toolable. And by what I mean by toolable is that there are certain technologies called Hot Reload or XAML Previewer that lets you see your UI as you build it without having to recompile your application at dev time. So, it's pretty cool. So, let's go ahead and start building our user interface. This is what we're going to be building today. It's a simple note-taking application. It has an image on it. It has a text entry box. It can do multiple lines. It has two buttons. And it has a label at the bottom. It's pretty simple, but we can build it up using XAML very quickly. So, I already have Visual Studio open. And it's the same project that we had in the last video, where we have an Android and an iOS application within it, and we have the shared XAML project. Now, I'm going to be doing everything within the main page that XAML file. So, first off, I'm just going to go ahead and run this right away. And this so I can show you what we're going to be dealing with straight off the bat. And when it comes up, it's going to just say, Welcome to Xamarin Forms. Well, that's interesting, but we want it to look like the other one we just took a peek at. So, first thing I want to do is create a grid. So, what Xamarin Forms has is they have a bunch of what's called layouts. And that's how we put controls onto the screen. So, there's a stack layout, which just does one-dimensional. And there's grid, which does two-dimensional. So, and there's things called relative layouts and so on. So, we're going to use a grid here. So, the first thing I want to do is define some rows. So, my row definition is going to tell, tell it how high I want certain things. And I'm going to want to have four of these on the same screen. So, I'm just going to go ahead and copy these all over. And the next thing I want to do is define some columns. So, again, it's just grid.column definitions. And then within that, column definition. Now, you can see one thing, again, doing the width and a star. So, you might be saying, well, what's that star in there? Well, that's just saying it's like a relational width and height, saying I want everything to be even right now. And we'll go ahead a little bit later and change that to make it look good. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this image onto the screen. And so, this image, and I'm going to make the source blank for now, and we'll add that just a bit later. And I'm going to make a background color onto it. I'm going to call it powder blue. Next, I want to actually show where the image should show up. So, it's going to be column 0, grid.row 0, and I want it to span across the screen. So, it's going to be grid.column span 2. Close that off, hit save, and you can see over on my emulator on the right, it actually went across both columns. So, the next thing I can do is add the editor. So, editor is going to be here. I'm going to tell it where to show up. Grid.column is going to be 1 here. Or 0, I'm sorry. And it's also going to span across everything. So, grid.column span 2. And then grid.row is going to be 1. Hit save. And you can see that it popped up. And so, what I want to do, what we also have in Xamarin Forms for the editor is a placeholder. And I'm going to say enter note here. Hit save again. 
and you can see it popped up into my emulator. And so the reason why it's when I just hit save and it pops up all the time is that I'm using a technology called Hot Reload. And so I don't have to hit stop, rebuild my app, and see how things are going. It just works. It's there. It's increasing my inner dev loop and my productivity. So the next thing I want to do is enter two buttons. Again, I'm going to have to tell in the grid where to go. So row here is going to be two. Grid.column, and this one's going to be for the first one, zero. And then the text is going to be safe. And then for my second button, grid.row is going to be two again. And then I'm going to put it in the second column now. So grid.column is equal to one, and the text here is going to be erase. Hit save, and we can see I have two buttons showing up. Now they're kind of big, but I'm going to finish those off in just a bit. And then finally, I'm going to put a label at the bottom. So grid.row here is going to be three. The grid.column is going to be zero again. And it's going to span across the whole thing. So you can see that how we're using XAML here is that it's going and giving us an easy way to see how our UI is built up. And so I want to make sure my column, we can see it. And I'll just say it's cool. And you can see how everything builds up. So I want to make my text a little bit bigger. And so I'm going to type font size. And I'm going to say large. Make that show up a little bit bigger. And then I want to change my heights to make these buttons smaller. So I want my entry, maybe, that row to be 2. We'll make that 2. And where the buttons are, 0.5 star. And this by hitting save looks way better already. And we're off to the races. Now I said I wanted to add an image in there. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to my Android project. I'm going to go through that into resources, into my drawable, add an existing item. And I already have a Zamagon in there. Add it in. And then I'm just going to call this Zamagon. Run it again. And now the Zamagon is appearing in the middle. So in the next video, we're going to take our XAML and make the app functional by adding a little bit of MVVM to it so we can display notes in a list. So check it out.